Hello and welcome my dear students. I am Rohan sir from Mehdi English Medium School. I welcome my all dear third standard students once again in the science class. My little gems, I hope that you have been following my videos, you are watching all my video lectures and you are enjoying it too. Since we have learned on online teaching classes, we are learning on the online teaching classes, you know that we have been doing several new things like revisions, extra animation, knowledges and then even the oral test. So these all are kind of new experiences for you all and I know I get the feedbacks of it whole lot of students that they are enjoying it a lot and lot more than they what expected. So students uh, you know that in the previous lecture we just solved the worksheet which was there which was made from your textbook itself. So we have already solved chapter number one and two worksheets and that data was almost collected from the exercises of textbook. Now you see we cannot just ignore the data given after the exercises, correct? So that is why I took this initial to create the worksheet because as much as you will solve it, you will be able to get the grip on that particular topic, isn't it so? You know, it is well said that practice makes one perfect. Similarly, I have been giving you the different ways and different topics for practicing the one topic, correct? For example, if you are discussing animals, I give you the different ways for carnivores, herbivores, omnivores and etc. So, similarly we solved chapter number 1 and 2 worksheets. Now, what are we going to do today? Let's have a look. So, today we are moving on to chapter number 3. Yes, so as soon as we will finish chapter number 3 and 4 worksheets, then we will jump on to chapter number 5 most probably. So that by then I will be very much sure from my side also that we have done a whole lot of revision work as much as it was possible in as, mu as many ways as possible I have given it to you. Anyways, so today worksheet of chapter number 3 which is housing and clothing from the textbook questions and data. See we ignore long question answers but here I will explain you those question answers if possible and have, I have bifurcated data from within that textbook data. So yes 90% of which you have already covered in the objectives and questions but still when I thought that these many data are still remaining from the textbook I created the worksheet for that too so that you will get 100% of what it is there in the textbook. Now before I start with just as always I say I want your careful kind attention every time in the lecture so your brain should be working and yes you need to have your textbooks along with you in this lecture I repeat only the textbooks and you should open chapter number 3 as we are going to solve chapter number 3 worksheet only. So name the two types of fibers is the first question and here is the hint for it. Yes for few questions I will give you the hint like this so that you will be able to solve it. So you need to name the two types of fibers with this hint only. Correct I repeat with this hint only. So first, it, uh, the first name should start with N and second is M, starting with M if you can see. But here two sections are divided. So N dash, M dash, N dash. So these are the two types you need to just guess. Yes, many of you are just instantly answering me. I know that many of you will have the idea by looking onto the second example you can even get the idea for the first one see these both are related in that way ok so now if you are speaking the answers the correct answer is natural and man made ok just make sure that you have to repeat after me whenever I ask you so 
natural and man made so man hyphen made man made that is why i i have put this blank like this okay so two types of fibers please repeat after me two types of fibers natural and man made again last time repeat it two types of fibers natural and man made okay so moving on to the next question two sources of natural fibers sources means from where we get something so where do we get the natural fibers from here i'll give you the hint again p dash 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 fibers and a dash 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 l fibers again two hints are given to you as i have asked you two sources of natural fibers so first word starts with p whereas second starts with a and ends with l again i suppose 50% of you have already speaking the answers already given me the answers what about the others i hope that you are thinking so if you have uh, watched the previous video lectures carefully you should be able to answer this two sources of natural fibers not man made just natural okay so let's see quickly what the answer is plant and animal both are natural isn't it so do you make plant no you feed them to grow you are not the source of their creation neither for the animal nor for the plant isn't it so so whatever you get from plant and animal they are the natural fibers correct so please repeat this af after me two sources of natural fibers answer plant and animal please repeat it one more time two sources of natural fibers answer plant and animal correct clear enough see that is why a and l i kept it for your hint animal the word starts with a alphabet a and ends with alphabet l now moving on to the next question is two examples of plant fibers the plant is it's what provides us the natural uh, fiber but now two example of plant fibers okay here is the hint the first word starts with c and the second starts with s whereas it ends with k those are the two examples of plant fibers see that is why i asked you to hold the textbook along with you because if you will be having the textbook you will be able to seek for the correct answers isn't it so so for those who have watched the previous video lectures carefully those who have read the lessons carefully they will be easily able to answer this but for those who have not even touched the textbook i am sorry you may fa uh, face the difficulties anyways let's see what the correct answer is so if you have given the answer for those who are speaking the answers cotton and silk you are absolutely right for those who are not speaking please take this into the note c if i have written here c it starts cotton starts with c and silk it starts with s and ends with k okay so please repeat after me two examples of plant fibers are cotton and silk let us repeat it one last time two examples of plant fibers are cotton and silk okay moving on to the next question two examples of animal fibers now two examples of animal fibers this is what you need to think and here i have given you two options here i think second one you might not have heard most probably in your textbook but first one is very easy dash 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 double l dash and 
b dash 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 n so the first in the first word somewhere in the middle of the word double l comes and in the second word it starts with b and ends with n okay so many of you might be thinking what is this and many of you have already answered both of them and maximum of you might be knowing which is the word here hidden here so correct answer is woolen and bison so bison is also an animal so you get the layer of it and you can make the hot clothes from it so bison is also an animal i may have shown you when i was giving you the extra knowledge so it is must you should repeat this after me please repeat it two examples of animal fibers are woolen and bison please repeat it one more time two examples of animal fibers are woolen and bison okay please repeat the spellings after me because many of you make the spelling mistakes bison is new for you so obviously we have to repeat but woolen also though you have seen it again and again you make the mistake for this spelling okay repeat the spelling after me w double o double l e e n w double o double l e n and bison b i s o n bison again b i s o n bison don't call it bison it is sun s o n is always sun no okay moving on to the next question two examples of man made fibers man made means which are made by men and nothing else correct so you have to give two examples for it and here is the hint for you dash e s dash r and n dash 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 n so the first word somewhere in the middle of the first word there are two alphabets e s whereas it ends with r it is definite and whereas in the second word it starts with n and it ends with n so here so there is something to think for you so just think about it what would, what could it be see second one is seriously very easy if you think if you remember few names the couple of names from the explanation video lectures if you have watched it again and again then you will be able to answer if you have not watched you will not be able to answer so let's see what the correct answer is polyester and nylon both are man made fibers only okay so please repeat it after me and then we will repeat the spelling of polyester specially so please repeat two examples of man made fibers are polyester and nylon let us repeat it one last time two examples of man made fibers are polyester and nylon okay quickly let us repeat the spelling of polyester p o l y e s t e r polyester once once again p o l y e s t e r polyester okay see this this two times i just gave you the hint how to read it and how to make the pronunciation that's it now even if you don't remember you can practice it again and again now the next question is ways to keep a house clean mm yes so here not two but three spaces you have to fill to make this complete sentence three ways to keep a house clean see it is very on the very first page of your textbook lesson number 3 if you are holding the textbook i told you in the beginning of the lesson you need to hold your textbook so 
if you are clever enough you will be easily able to find these three ways of keeping the house clean and tidy and healthy for the person to reside there to dwell there to live there so first option the second half word is light whereas in the second blank clean and dash air so kind of adjective and in the last blank second half word again is nettings correct net it is something related to nettings so now looking onto the options if you are again seeking for the answers in textbook you will be easily getting the answer because answers are there highlighted in the textbook itself that is why i asked you to hold the textbook so even if you are giving one or two answers it is, it is okay you are Uh, very much clever but if you are looking into textbook you will get all the three answers in the sequence so let's see what the correct answer is so the correct answer is sun light clean and fresh air and the third one is wire nettings okay here it is r but it is typing mistake so w i r e okay so don't get confused though it is written t but it was r and it is just a printing mistake okay so wire nettings okay so sunlight obviously you need so, so to keep the house fresh and clean so as you know that sunlight also keeps the house free from the germs correct so it kills the germs so it should have proper door and windows from where the sunlight can enter second is clean and fresh air so it also keeps us healthy free air fr fresh air should be there in the house and not polluted air correct so again here doors and window and even the balconies plays a vital role to get the fresh and clean air in the house third is wire netting i again repeat this is a printing mistake ignore this the spelling is w i r e wire nettings so the wire netting should be there to uh, on the windows specially so uh, to protect your house from the mosquitoes correct so mosquitoes they cannot enter if the proper wire netting is there so that uh, if the flies and mosquitoes will not enter you will be uh, free from the diseases at least which are spread by the flies and mosquitoes okay moving on the next question is types of houses now housing and clothing we discussed about clothing a whole lot of mcqs were there a whole lot of options were there now moving on to the houses now types of houses basic question is there okay there are many types but here this you have to answer here the first starts first word starts with p and it ends with a whereas the second word starts with k and it ends with h a again this is what i have explained you um you know several times in the extra um knowledge lectures that is why i ask you every time to pay clear attention to the extra lectures specially so p and k is the starting for both see i gave you the hint so it is also there in your textbook in the very first page correct in your textbook it is there even the houses are drawn there in your textbook so yes many of you now speaking the answers so let's see what the correct answer is correct answers are pakka house and kachcha house okay so p and a k and h a are the starting and ending for the pakka house and kachcha house respectively so please repeat it after me types of houses pakka house and kachcha house one last time repeat it after me types of houses pakka house and kachcha house okay so you just note the spellings down it will be there in your textbook now question related to kachcha house kachcha house is made of dash options are dash and aw and s dash s so pakka house is made up of here two things are mentioned in which the first word ends with aw 
and the second word starts with s as well as ends with s again this answer is there in the first page for those who are very much clever will have been given the answer till now so let's quickly see what the correct answer is straw and sticks somewhere the sticks are used mostly straw is used okay so straw and sticks yes many other materials are also used but here it is just a kind of game that is why i gave you the two options and the hints okay so straw and sticks here is the correct answer now moving on to the next part of the lecture is name the following so you have to give the name to the particular explanation so let's see what the concept is again you have to be 100% mentally present here the first question is the fiber that comes from the ship ship means not the ship sailing in the sea ship it is an animal correct again if you remember i showed you the picture of ship and what do we get from the ship and every little thing i have already explained you so please speak the answers if you know quickly within 2 to 3 seconds and 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 if you remember many of you have already given me the answers i know that many of you are speaking the answers let's see what the correct answer is and the correct answer is wool please repeat this after me we get wool from the ship again we get wool from the ship okay it is a white animal um the white fur is there if you remove that you can make the woolen clothes you can stitch the woolen clothes out of that wool which is provided by the animal ship okay it is very much hot okay in the summer we wear clothes made from these plants so made from which plants do we wear the clothes uh, in the summer summer means hot climate correct so obviously not wool wool we wear in the winter so in the summer we wear clothes made from these plants so which plants i hope that you are speaking the answer students and the correct answer is cotton correct cotton plant if you have seen cotton plant many of you might be having the cotton plant at home many of you might have seen cotton plants at uh, farms fields okay so please repeat this also after me in the summer we wear clothes made from cotton plants i hope you are repeating please repeat it one last time in the summer we wear clothes made from cotton plants okay so cotton clothes are not very hot it is light in the color as well as in the cloth it is not heavy it is very much light the next question is silk fiber is made by this insect so silk fiber is made by which insect it is asked here and if i display the name students you will be startled that the, yes this name you have heard several times so this i'll not ask you to guess the answer i'll directly display the answer for this so that it will be easier for you so the silk fiber is made from the silk worm insect okay worm means insect correct a small worm earth worm if you have seen the same silk worm is there so please repeat after me silk fiber is made by silk worm okay please repeat it one last time silk fiber is made by silk worm so now you know silk fiber is made by the silk worm also okay it is a kind of insect so please note the spelling this is the compound word silk and worm okay moving on to the fourth question cloth worn by a factory worker so what kind of cloth is worn by a factory worker answer is overall correct 
or all, all the ty types of clothes are worn by the factory workers it depends on their work on their work and totally if you see they are covered from head to toe they are covered so that their skin in any way doesn't get harm so the answer is overall so just please take this note that overall all the kinds of clothes are worn by the factory workers the factory workers means the people who works in the factory and factory are of different types for the different things okay moving on to the fifth question so here let me read the question cleaning of the clothes by petrol oh you will say sir cleaning clothes with petrol how is it possible but yes students cleaning of clothes by petrol it is also the way to clean the clothes but it is a different way not like the maid or you know your mom will be cleaning the clothes in the washing machine no it is the different way so let us see what the answer is but you have to repeat after me once i display the answer so it is called dry cleaning sometimes if you have noticed yes you have heard this word dry cleaning isn't it so so dry cleaning means some heavy expensive clothes um you know with uh, kinds of different patterns and stones attached to it so you give it into dry cleaning you don't clean it at your home because they are expensive and they are of different type correct your suit three piece suit if you wear um blazer and all this you give for dry cleaning okay so please repeat it after me cleaning of clothes by petrol is called dry cleaning okay so now you know this type now students moving on to the third part of this um lecture match the columns column a and column b see column a is nylon soldier doctor leather whereas column b options are animal skin fiber not obtained from plants or animals that is natural third is tough sorry yes tough uniform and fourth is white coat so you need to match these four with these four options so what do you think can you can you do this yes you will be able to do this if you have perfect knowledge let us move from the down to up uh this way first is leather so what do you think you get the leather from you leather is 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 white coat not necessarily it is tough uniform no we don't wear uniform of leather so fiber not obtained from plants and animals mm actually we don't get leather even from the uh you know plants so we get leather from animal correct leather itself is an animal skin isn't it so so leather we can match it with the animal skin now doctor all of you have seen the doctors correct so there is nothing to think about so what do they wear they wear apron correct a kind of coat they wear which color coat they wear they wear white colored clothes so if you can see here the option is given white coat so directly doctor we can match with the white coat then come to the soldier now soldier do they wear the fiber not obtained from plants and animals no then soldier if something you can relate is with the uniform correct so they wear tough uniform tough means uh, the layer is uh, so thick bullet proof also it is there so it is tough uniform okay and lastly nylon you can match it with the remaining option so let's see what the correct answer is column a nylon soldier doctor leather column b now you see nylon fiber not obtained from the plants and animals it is man made just now we discussed correct in the very first part of the lecture nylon is man made okay so we cannot get it from the plants or animals we cannot get it in the natural sources whereas soldiers they wear tough uniform correct doctors like i said white coat 
and the leather we get it from the animal skin so now i hope that you have the knowledge of these all four and you enjoyed the lecture so now you the question answers we are going to discuss in the next lecture so be prepared with the textbook even in the next lecture so till here i'll keep for this lecture just get ready to understand the question answers so that you have to read the textbook once so please be ready for the next lecture and with this i end my today's lecture i hope you enjoyed it goodbye take care